guys, how's it going? It's Fangs and welcome to a brand new series that me and my friend here, Ginny, are going to be doing. Say hi, Ginny. Hi, guys. Um, we're going to be doing this series and it is based solely on um, advice that you're going to have with Ginny and Jesse. And what that is, is I'm going to be playing FIFA, possibly doing a game or have pack openings. And anytime that I'm in town where I'm with Ginny, we're going to answer some questions. Now, I had you guys either tweet me or email me some questions. Obviously, if you emailed it, it could be a little bit more anonymous. I'm only going to say the first name of the person. I won't say the last name, so nobody's going to know. There's going to be a million people with that name. Um, if you want me to say your first and last name and it's in the new video, let me know. Now, before we get started here today, if you want some FIFA 14 Ultimate Team Coins, check out thegamekeys.co.uk. I'll have a link in the description below. You get a 5% discount if you use Fangs. Don't forget to use my name on there. I swear to God, if you don't use it, you're going to die. I'm just kidding. I didn't mean that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so go ahead and check that out. They're instant coins, so get them. We're going to go ahead and get started with our questions for today. We have two from two lucky people that we chose from the emails that we got. Um, the first one, you want to read off the email? Uh, okay. Hey, Jesse and Jenny. My crush has just broke up with her boyfriend, and she knows I like her. The thing is, if I was to ask her out, how long should I wait? This isn't one of these kid relationships. We're both 19 and looking to settle with a partner. Thanks in advance. Okay, that's from Connor. So, do you want to go with your advice first, or do you want to should we um, advise it together? Let's do it together. Okay, so they're 19, and okay, let's look at the details. Let's look at the details. They're 19. She just broke up with her boyfriend. He's obviously had a crush on her, even when she had her boyfriend. And they've been talking. Wait, have they been talking? Well, they're, they're friends, I guess. Okay. And they're, they're both looking to settle with a partner. Partner. For one, how do you know? If she's looking to settle the partner. Does he know that? Is that in the details? Or she knows that he likes her? Yeah, that's... Yeah, so... But does she like you back? Yeah. Even if she knows that you like her, does she like you back? That's one of the things you're going to have to find out in the very beginning. And you're going to have to do that by throwing out some fillers. Like, I'd have to say maybe like shoot, like... I guess in these days, shoot a text. Shoot a text or ask her friend, but that's a little middle school. Yeah, if you ask the friends a little middle school, especially because you're 19, although I don't know, in college that kind of happened a little bit. But I would say that you've got to maybe, it's really soon that she just broke up with a boyfriend, you don't want to be the rebound. That's the biggest thing is whenever they first break up, they're always like trying to find the rebound. And you definitely don't want to be that. So I would probably maybe like, depending on how long it was. Yeah. Based I think on how long it is, I would wait, give it like a few weeks. And then maybe think about like throwing a text, seeing if she wants to like maybe go to a movie, or what do you usually do when you go on dates? Dates are really weird these days. In high school? Right out of high school. When we were in college. Right out of high school. I used to like Billy Bob's. Oh yeah, take her to a honky tonk. Uh, if you take don't live her to a honky tonk. <laughs> if you don't live where there's a honky tonk. Take her then. dancing. Take her dancing. You gotta figure out something. There's gonna be something that you figure out that you can do with her. Either way, you're gonna be able to tell right away if she's interested in you, because girls, girls don't really try to hide it. At least I don't. Did you? If you ask her out, obviously you can't. Don't scare away. That's that's the main thing. Don't be. You don't want to be, don't be too, too needy. Pushy. Yeah, too pushy or too needy, because that's a turn off. Yes. It's the worst. You want to be like needy but not needy at the same time. How do I explain it? You want to seem like you care, but then you want to like slide away from caring because then she's thinking, she's like, does he really like me? And it's like a mind fuck, but it works. It Did works. You? It works. You have to act like you're not available, but you're totally available. You're, to <laughs> you're so into her. <laughs> you're so into But her. you have to be in, you know, have your own, have your own thing going on. Yeah. And you don't have to worry. You're like. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. That actually happened in my relationship whenever I broke up with this guy um, in high school. It was high school, so it was kind of shit. But I broke up with this guy, and then the same guy broke up with his girlfriend, and then we happened to like make out one night. And yeah, it was Will. And you know, like, I'm dating him now, so... <laughs> oh, so that's like... How cute. That's how it happened. So like, you just gotta... You gotta give it time. If she's not emotional about it, like if the breakup wasn't bad, then maybe just ask her on a date, because it doesn't matter. If, the, if she was just like, she was done with a the guy, then maybe she's looking for a new guy and then you guys should do it. Just ask her. I wanna see you be brave. <laughs> <laughs> what you wanna say. Okay. See, uh, sometimes she's gonna make you wait. And if she's worth the wait, then you'll just wait for her. You'll wait for her. And you don't need to ask her out and make it be like, oh, come on, like I wanna go out with you right now. No, 
You gotta give her some time. She just broke up with her boyfriend. Yeah, and she might not be looking for a long term because she's already been in that. She wants to date around. But also, if you do start in the middle of dating, don't give everything at the beginning. Because then she's gonna expect it. Take it slow. Take that shit slow. Like, be like, hey girl, here's a Reese's Pieces. <laughs> 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 Just kidding. <laughs> so yeah, but at some point, you need to ask her because life's not worth anything. Life is ask. too short for that. Yeah, you gotta make it all happen. Let's move on to our next question. All right, moving on to our next question. We have Mason. He says, I'm a junior in high school. Oh God. When I first read this, I thought he was in junior high. I'm way off. Okay, I'm a junior in high school and I need to ask someone to prom. I don't have a girlfriend and nobody that I know of that would want to go with me. I am fairly good looking, but I feel I'm just friends with everyone and nobody would want to go. How do I know, wait, how do I know who I should ask and any idea on how I should ask? Thanks. Well, prom, prom's an interesting one. Okay, on my first thoughts of prom, when I think of every girl in my high school, whenever I was there, Every single girl wants to be asked to prom, so there's gotta be there's gonna be somebody in your high school that hasn't been asked that is just dying to be asked. And sometimes it doesn't even matter who they go with, they just wanna go to prom. Girls dream about prom and they wanna make sure that they are there with a date. Because how embarrassing for them to not show up with a date. To not show up with a date, yeah. It's and cool. even if you're friends with them, like you can go and have the best time you've ever had. Just hanging out, dancing together as friends. You could. It would be good. So you gotta find any girl, it doesn't matter if it's the one you like and she hasn't been asked yet, just do it. Just ask her as a friend, if anything. Yeah, because more than likely nobody's gonna, if, unless they're like a stuck up bitch, I can't think of anybody that said no when they got asked a prom. No, they're not gonna say no. No. Because they, every girl there needs a date. And you're a good looking guy, you're fun, you're friends with everybody, they would have fun going with you. And you just, it's your duty to make sure you ask somebody. Yeah, otherwise you're gonna have some, there's gonna be some girl there at prom that didn't have somebody and it would have been you that could have been with her. And maybe it's not the prettiest girl, um, but I mean, at least you're making somebody happy and you have something going on for that time. And if other people are, I don't know what your friends are like, I don't know anything about you, but if other people are gonna judge you for that, who gives a shit? Because guess what, in all honesty, high school means absolutely nothing. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have to say about that? I think high school means a lot. And I hate it when people say high school means nothing. Because look where Jessie is. She's marrying her high school sweetheart. Yeah, but I mean, like, I could have met him in college or something. It been the same thing. I'm saying, like, when it comes to, like, how people think of you in high school. Yeah, well, we still hang out with everybody from high school. That's true. And so, you're going to do it. You're going to ask somebody. You're going to find that person you want to ask. You're going to make sure they haven't been asked already, right? Because that would be right. a total situation. <laughs> Um, and you're gonna, what are some of the good ways to, I don't even know. I got asked by, it was so cute, we went to dinner, he took me out to a romantic dinner, and then he had the waiters write out on this chocolate cake on the plate that said, will you go to prom with me? And they brought out the dessert, and I was like, oh, this is so cute, and I was like, of course. Was that Brian? That was Brian. Oh my god. It was so cute. I didn't get asked that way. I think I was like randomly at a party and it was like, yes, yeah, do you want to go to prom? I don't even know how it like went <laughs> down. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, he knew I wanted to be asked in a good way. So you could do it that way. You gotta find like a, it depends if you're like romantically involved with someone and it's obviously you're gonna get into more detail. But be like that one Asian dude on that video who freaking made the song for the girl. And he wasn't even dating her and he did like this whole song. Don't do that actually. That you don't want to freak the girl <laughs> out, okay? Yeah. You need to find a good way to ask them. Just be like, hey, you know, I thought it would be fun if we would just go together because we're good friends. I mean, no, don't say that. Don't say we're good friends. Yeah, you don't want to be friend zoned. You don't want to be in the friend zone. Don't. But be a little sly. Be like, hey, hey, cutie, how are you doing? No, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what you should say. I, l I think it's hot when guys give girls cute names. Yeah. So if you say something like that, then. Yeah, I don't know. You maybe people text these days. I know that's what I was thinking. Text because that's the that's the era that we're in right now. So maybe text her if you have her number or get her number and be like, "Hey, baby girl, how you doing? I want to go to prom. Have you been asked to prom yet? Have you been asked to prom yet? And if she says no, be like, "Well, do you want to go? Do you want to go with me? And then boom. And the moment you ask her and you're going with her, everybody will want to go with you. That's what your mom said. <laughs> yeah, my mom's <laughs> like, once once you ask somebody, then Everybody's gonna want to go with you because they already know that you were 
cute enough to ask someone. Yeah, you just gotta build the courage and let it go. And just remember that if they say no, life's not over. There's no, there's gonna be another person you can ask, so it's definitely worth it. Go ahead and do that. But yeah, I think that's pretty much my advice for that. What about you? Yeah. You good? Yep, I'm good. So that is gonna be it for this episode of Advice with Jenny and Jesse. If you want to see more of this, if you love this series, go ahead and push us to 2,000 likes. We would really appreciate it, and we would do it again next time I come in town. We're gonna be in New Orleans. New Orleans. It'll be some crazy advice because we'll be probably wasted. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but we'll be there and we'll do it over our FIFA gameplay. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this video. If you did enjoy it, thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do it. Until next time, we'll see you guys later.